Only on Fox, signs are posted. The city of St. Louis is shutting down another homeless encampment. This one is just north of the Gateway Arch. And at the same time, another tent village is growing about eight miles away. Fox 2's Andy Banker has that story new at 10. It has now been posted here. The city of St. Louis will remove this long-standing tent village at the entrance to the old Admiral Casino on Laclede's Landing. At the same time, another tent village has popped up miles away in South St. Louis along the River De Pere. Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox was over the dozen or so tents scattered atop the riverbanks near Hampton and Gravois, close to neighborhood homes and businesses. There have been complaints about shoplifting, open drug use, indecency, public urination and defecation. There was a fire in a trash pen behind the former Steak and Shake restaurant last fall. A homeless man walked in front of a passing vehicle, was struck and killed. A resident who does not want to share his identity says he has gone from being accepting to demanding action. It's been ongoing in varying degrees for nine months, but the last three, three and a half weeks, it's ramped up into overdrive. They're right behind the house. At the end of the day, people are sleeping on the embankment of the River De Pere. So I hope that we can find a swift resolution that does result in permanent placement, or at least a better temporary housing situation. With the city shutting down the Laclede's Landing Tent Village next Monday, there are concerns the River De Pair site may grow. The notices posted at the landing say shelter and housing will be offered to occupants of the encampment, but those occupants often have trouble meeting identification and curfew requirements. They end up back in tents somewhere else. Some of these people are in their 30s, 40s, 50s or older to one night out a week or curfews. It's like they're setting up a system for us to fail so they can say we tried to help these people, but they don't want it. Alderman Stevens says the city's tiny home transitional housing has a 75 percent success rate, but the waiting list is about 50 deep. It comes down to resources. There's this notion that we already have enough. If we already had enough, we wouldn't have individuals sleeping on the River to Pair. He says staff from the city's Human Services Department are visiting the River to Pair encampment tonight in the hope of mapping out a better solution for all. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.